This video presents the programming of microcontroller AT89S52 using an IDE from Kyle and Arduino running in ISP mode. C language will be used to demonstrate some examples. A quick look at the specs of the microcontroller AT89S52 by Atmel. It has 8 kilobytes of flash memory with 1000 cycles of write and erase. It can operate at a maximum frequency of uh, 33 MHz. It has 256 bytes of RAM and 32 programmable I.O. lines divided into four ports P0, P1, P2 and P3 and it has three 16-bit timer counters. The microcontroller has full duplex serial port through pins RXD and TXD and it has four SPI lines shown here which are used for in-system programming. In other words, we can interface this uh, microcontroller with a programmer such as an Arduino using the SPI interfacing. Programming the AT89S52 requires the following steps. First, we need to write the C code using the C51 IDE from Kyle. Then we need to compile and generate the hexacode. Then we need to turn the Arduino Uno into an Arduino in-system programmer in order to program all AVR controllers such as the AT89S52. Then we need to interface the controller with the Uno using SPI connection. Finally, using Windows CMD command prompt, we need to execute an instruction in order to load the hexacode into the controller using Arduino ISP. The first step in the programming is to write the C program and then generate the hexacode. And to do this, we need to use this uh, IDE from Kyle, which allows us to write uh, C programs or assembly programs and then compile it and generate the hexacode. To create a project, we go to Project tab. We select New Microvision Project. And then we select the folder where we want to keep our project. So I called my folder Kyle Projects. We give a name to the project. Let's say this is Blink LED. Save the project. Then we choose the uh, microcontroller, in our case it's AT89S52. Once the controller appears, we select it, we press OK. We need to copy this uh, file into the project because it's needed for the compilation. We say yes, yes. Now we have our project open, Blink LED. We open this uh, target and inside the source group we need to add our C code so we right click add new item we select C file we give it a name let's call this uh, blink LED add okay now we are ready to add our C++ code we write our C program to blink two LEDs, uh, a blue LED connected to port uh, P10 and a red LED connected to port 13. We need to include this header file which is needed for the uh, compilation and also this is a prototype of a function called delay which will add delay between the blinking and the function delay is shown here where we have a nested for loop that will introduce a delay within the main function and within the uh, indefinite while loop we need to uh, set uh, port P1 high so that uh, the uh, blue LED is on and the red LED is off we apply delay and then we set uh, uh, port P13 high to turn off the blue LED and to turn on the red LED and then we apply a delay and this process goes on indefinitely. Before we compile the C code we need to do some tweaking to the project. We go to project, we select options 
for target and here we need to uh, set the frequency of the clock in our case it's uh, 11 point zero five nine two megahertz next we go to the output tab and we need to make sure that we check this create hex file and then we go to the debug tab and we need to select instead of user uh, use simulator we use this uh, Kyle monitor 51 driver and then we press OK. Now we compile the code by pressing the translate, making sure that we have zero errors and zero warnings, and then we go to build and then rebuild. The next step is to make the Arduino Uno a in-system programmer, and to do this we need to load into the Arduino this Arduino ISP program and we can get this easily by going to file examples and here Arduino ISP we choose this program so we need to load this code into the Arduino Uno a circuit diagram of the microcontroller interface with the Arduino is shown here the serial clock is connected to digital pin 13 the master in slave output is connected to 12 the master out slave input is connected to 11 and the reset pin is connected to 10 driving the microcontroller we have this 11 megahertz crystal oscillator connected to these two pins here we also have two LEDs connected to the controller we have this blue LED connected to port P10 and we have this red LED connected to port P13 once we have interfaced the microcontroller with the Arduino Uno we are ready to transfer the hexi file we generated with the uh, Kyle IDE into the microcontroller but first we need to follow some steps first thing we need to do is uh, we need to copy this uh, AVR8051 configuration file into the root directory of your Windows like so next we need to go into the folder where your project is located and go into the objects folder and locate the blink LED hexi file which is this file here we go into its uh, properties and make a note of its location within the C drive now we need to copy this uh, instruction into the Windows CMD command prompt uh, but first make sure that uh, you have the right uh, communication port where your Arduino is connected in my case it's COM3 and also make sure that within these uh, double quotations you put down the location of your hexi file and the name of the hexi file in this case it's blink LED now we go to Windows uh, command prompt and we copy the instruction we press enter and the hexi code will be loaded into the microcontroller and the effect of the code will appear on the LEDs in future videos more projects will be implemented using the AT89S52 microcontroller. Thank you for watching.